Well, it is time now for this week's edition of Rec on the Road. Today we meet Kim Moss. Kim tells us her story on how she dealt with breast cancer. It is a story of love, perseverance, and commitment. Kim is an avid runner and plans to use the sport to help in the battle against this deadly disease. Running helps me get to where I need to be mentally because everybody needs an outlet. Running's mine. I went to a 5K, the Susan G. Komen 5K, and my girlfriend said to me, come over here. They were showing how to do breast self-exams. I learned how to do a breast self-exam correctly. That was in October. That July, in the shower, I felt a lump, and within two days, we were sitting in a doctor's office and he was talking about doing a lumpectomy. Uh, went in for the lumpectomy. He came back immediately and said, uh, you have cancer. The interesting part is when I found the lump, it was tiny. I mean, not even a centimeter. And here's the unpredictability of it. I can remember the doctor saying, wow, you really found this early. I can remember um, driving back after having the biopsy and Joe and I were in the car and we were coming down passing a, a lake and I was looking out the side window and I remember looking at him and uh, I said I'm pissed <laughs> I said I can't die I can't and uh, he kept looking straight ahead while we were driving and he said let's just get home and I looked out the window and I remember thinking, okay, this is at the moment where you come unraveled and this is what everybody talks about. And we got home and he looked at me and he said, you're not going to die and we're going to fight this. And um, we stood there and we just held each other. And I just, I can almost remember feeling getting stronger and knowing that we're going to get through this together. From July 5th or 6th, whatever day that was, until I had my mastectomy August 25th, it was the longest period of time because every day you just keep thinking, it's in my body and it's growing and it's spreading and it could be bigger. How big is it? What stage am I going to be? And I tried not to focus on those things. Honestly, I did focus on running because I was training for a half marathon at the time. I had a single mastectomy in August of 2005, August 25th of 2005. I was training for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. Um, I ran that half marathon 10 days later still. I was not going to miss that um, because then again cancer would have been in control. Nine months later I found out I carried the gene for breast cancer. So I had a mastectomy done on the left side as well and had my ovaries removed. I was 30 five years old when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I don't consider myself a survivor. I don't believe me personally in the word survivor, but surviving. So I've been surviving breast cancer for six years. Joe ran the New York City Marathon in 2007. He said it was the most amazing experience he's ever had in a race. And he told me, you have to do this. We decided then that we would run this race together in 2011. We've always wanted to run for a charity. Joe looked at me and he said, if we're gonna run the New York City Marathon for a charity, we are gonna run for Sloan Kettering Breast Cancer Center because the money we raise for that could one day save your life. And in your lifetime, you could say, I am a survivor because maybe we do find a cure. The key for Kim and her battle with breast cancer was early diagnosis and a positive attitude. Kim and Joe are currently training for the New York City Marathon, which is November 6th. If you would like to sponsor this inspirational couple, you can find out how at our website, thehamptonroadshow.com. All right, guys, what an amazing story. Great story. Very Good awesome. for Kim Good and Joe. Mm -hmm. Good for them. That race is right around the corner, yeah. so hopefully their bulk of their... Mm -hmm. Big training is over and they're doing that taper and feeling Smooth good. Yeah. Sailing.